Hi, Sagittarius. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, we have the King of Pentacles. And so the King of Pentacles is a master of uh, hard work and being successful in what he does in order to uh, obtain the comforts and the abundance that he so desires. So this uh, King of Pentacles is uh, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And there's a sense here of putting in the work and the effort and knowing what you're doing in order to be successful, in order to build that firm foundation. So the King of Pentacles may be a suggestion for you this week to pay attention to your resources, to pay attention to uh, your, your time, your money, the energies that you're putting out, the balance between work and play. The King of Pentacles would uh, suggest to you to do things with common sense. Be grounded, be pragmatic. Don't go too far out of bounds. Just kind of uh, put, in the, put in the energy, put in the hard work. This King is successful because he... Uh, does all of his homework beforehand and physically is able to do the work that's going to get the job done. So then as part of the awareness, we have the Five of Cups. So there is something this week that's causing you to feel sadness or to feel disappointed, perhaps a little bit of regret. And whether this is related to a relationship or to a work environment or a something that happened with the family, you might be thinking about it and it may be lingering. So the five of cups is typically we're focused on the cups that have spilled and we don't really see the cups that haven't spilled because we're so busy on thinking about what has been lost. You know, what have we lost? So it's a matter of perspective. If you can count your blessings and kind of get yourself out of this sense of grief or loss and turn it around to think about what I do have, what I can make of what I do have to move forward. You know, if we continually live in regret or this sadness or looking behind us that maybe relationships didn't work out or jobs that didn't work out, it's hard to move forward. It's hard to move forward when we're still stuck on something. So, you know, five of cups, yes, it's sad. We have our moments with sadness. We acknowledge it, we process it, and then we move on. So now let's see what we have for guidance. Wow, we have a lot of kings here today with your reading. We have a lot of masterful, confident rulers, each with their strengths and weaknesses. And so the King of Cups, water, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, would be telling you to, uh, to be in charge of your emotions, to be aware of others, and to use your own emotional intelligence to work through situations with your relationships with others. If you are in the dating game and if you're out there dating, the King of Cups is this very gentle soul who is sensitive, who's kind, who is sympathetic. And so often we might think of someone as a healer, as a King of Cups, someone in the arts, appreciates beauty, artistic. And the King of Cups, again, Offerings, perhaps, possibilities for emotional connections with others or for you to focus on your your own emotions. So while this week you have been focusing (laughs) on resources with the King of Pentacles, with emotions with the King of Cups, here's the focus on intelligence and using your smarts and using your reason. The King of Swords is the master of using 
his objectivity to make decisions and to problem solve and to strategize. If you need to strategize or to come up with new approaches, this is the energy that's going to help you. This is the energy that's going to help you find the truth in a matter. The truth underlying the, the issue or the scenarios that you're involved in. And so the King of Swords wouldn't put up with any toxic, you know, toxic, toxic behavior. It'd be a matter of using that powerful blade to, to cut it out. The King of Swords also tells us to look for clarity and to be clear in your communication. So it sounds like, or it feels like, and we'll see what else we have, but it's certainly, it's a lot of um, either people that you're dealing with, you know, that you're personally dealing with within your relationships, your work relationships, your home relationships, or that this is maybe a setting, a, a reset for you for you to get back to basics, the basics of getting out of this Five of Cups and of using all of the strengths of these kings. Pragmatic thinking focused on money and career, investments, emotionally getting yourself in the right spot, and then intellectually approaching any problems or strategizing on how to move forward. Let's see what we have here. Gosh, we have two nines. So we have the nine of wands. And the nine of wands is often a card where you are ready for what's next. You may have been bloodied and bruised, and you may be exhausted from having to work on whatever it is that you're working or whatever it is that you're defending, your ideas, your beliefs, and you know, where others may quit and say to hell with this, you're like, no, nope, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait. I'm ready. I am going to see this to the end because I'm so close. And so this tells me that as an outcome that you have the perseverance, you have the, uh, the grit and the determination and the will to be able to see through challenges and to be ready for whatever's going to happen. And having all of this energy and the attributes of the, queen, of the kings certainly helps one feel that confidence in order to protect and to defend themselves. And then finally, we have another nine. And nines, nine of pentacles, nines are close to completion. You're very close. This is a card of success, of independence of a lot of work that has gone behind this in order for this woman to enjoy the abundance and the comfort and the privacy within her life. She has worked hard to get these pentacles. She's made good decisions. Maybe she sacrificed some and maybe she's had some sadness along the way and some regret and disappointment. But at the end of the day, using all of her faculties here, she has put it together to become independent and to become successful and is able to not only enjoy what she's built, you know, it's, it's, um, she's worked hard to build what she has, her comfort, but it's really the enjoying the fruits of your labor is don't forget to have fun and to have passion with what you do. So Sagittarius, just worth noting, there are no major arcana cards in your reading. And uh, a couple of nines and a, a bunch of kings here. So mastery of all of these attributes of intelligence, emotional intelligence, and being resourceful and hardworking. So let's get a little information for you for the week meditation point or focus area. The cosmos, creativity and vastness. So the cosmos, 
this huge, incredible universe of opportunity. It is vast and everybody has their place in this, in the cosmos. So be creative for the week, continue with your creativity, continue with your hard work and inspiration. And so now I'm going to choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So accept yourself. Accept uh, the idea that, you know, uh, with the actions that you do, the things that you do, the people that you help, the projects that you create, the kind words that you share, you know, that's, uh, that's an incredible understanding of self and it is part and parcel of unconditional love. So, uh, accepting yourself, accepting the love from the angels, from spirit, from the universe to help you move forward, to help you move past instances of, of regret or sadness. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So to manifest the energy of love, you know, we are built from all of these experiences and sometimes they're more painful than others and we just learn from them we put them in our book our book of knowledge and we move on but cooperation is to i think it's a matter of maybe just maybe letting your tampering down your ego to, in order for the sake of cooperation in order to work together so interesting reading for you sagittarius and this is what I have, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.